welcome to my channel. This is so weird to say. I've been wanting to do this since literally high school and now I'm 27, married to my high school sweetheart, all the fun things. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do the dang thing. So here we are, welcome. I'm a teacher, so I'm on my way to school. It is 6.42, it's a Monday and I'm just excited for where this might go. Officially the end of Monday, school day wise. Um, I'm going to get some Chick-fil-A for my husband and I. Jacob, we're gonna get some yumminess. If you're curious what you can get when you're dairy free and gluten free at Chick-fil-A is I get a grilled chicken sandwich with a gluten free bun, no cheese, and then I get uh, fries and like whatever drink I want, Sun Joy, Sprite, whatever. Um, and then I get a fruit cup because I'm usually really hungry. Uh, but if you also, anything grilled is great. Um, now I technically don't know if I have celiac. It's gotten worse as I've gotten older, but I haven't gotten tested for celiac because my doctor told me to get tested for celiac. I would have to go on gluten for a week. And I was like, absolutely not. But the last time I had gluten, I got a really bad rash on my on the back of my leg. So I'm definitely intolerant to it, but um, but my friend, her husband, um, his father, <laughs> or uh, owns a Chick Fil A, and said that their um, fries are in a different uh, fryer. So just a little. FYI, if you're gluten-free and looking for a yummy meal, I love the grilled chicken sandwich, no cheese, gluten-free bun, fries, fruit cup, and then sometimes the grilled nuggets. Um, I like using honey mustard as my sauce. But yeah, coming back to work after being out sick, it's always like you forget how much you do in a day. Um, but we made it, we did it, and the next clip you'll see is probably me pulling up to Chick-fil-A or at home with my Chick-fil-A on the table, but hope you are having a great week so far and yogurt and I do this granola I just keep it at school so good together if you're dairy free this stuff is so good it's Siggy's plant-based coconut blend yogurt and I just get the vanilla cinnamon one with the peanut butter um, granola and it's delicious but then I like put some orange juice in here this morning just because it sounded really good but I just had that um, they come, kids come in like five minutes at 725. Uh, but today is our 90 minute planning day. Every Tuesday we have 90 minute planning and they have back to back specials or encore, whatever you want to call it. So I pack them up at like one, which is nice um, to just kind of like breathe and, you know, spend time with my team. So I'm going to do a little outfit of the day in a second and then 
get this Tuesday going. Today, so we have the dress. Really, everything's from Amazon except this. Um, my lanterns from Amazon. My earrings. Let me show you. So my earrings are from Amazon. They were four dollars, and I think they're like such a good steal for four dollars. Um, they don't look four dollars at all. So I got those from Amazon. I got my shirt, A B C D, back to class from Amazon, and then I just tied it. This is a dress. Um, with pockets if you can tell I love pockets um, and then same pumas from yesterday and then I was a little chilly and I just was like grabbing and going as I walked out of my house so this is from American Eagle like two seasons ago like two years ago but it's just super comfy super easy um, and then my headband is also from Amazon. It came in like a pack of different animal prints. But yeah, that's our outfit of the day today. If you're a teacher and you struggle with um, like your class working together or your class is just like really ch uh, chatty or something like that, I have used this for the past two years and it works so well. So what you do is you come up with a word every day. So like today the word is ghost. I just write blank lines for where the letters go. And every time they do something great as a class, they get a letter. And if they get the whole word before they go home, like at dismissal, I give them, we do PBIS here. So I give them six PBIS points. Lunch, oh my gosh. <laughs> Some days it just knocked me out more than others, but like, Tuesdays are trickier because we're with them longer in the morning. We're used to having their encore or specials um, during the morning. So on Tuesdays, it's in the afternoon for planning. So it gets a little, it feels a little long in the morning, but it's nice having all that time for like phonics and stuff. But we've started now duty-free lunch, which is just a godsend. So I'm enjoying the nice quiet, time to eat and just get myself together. I used to like work during my lunch, like go on my computer and do little things here and there. But like, I'm really trying to make this my time, you know? Uh, so yesterday I brought a book. I've been reading The Bodyguard. So I brought this yesterday and I read like a chapter and I just set an alarm on my phone for when it's time to pick them up. And it was so nice because it like got my mind off of school. It was something that I really love and enjoyed. And I just wanted to say, if you don't feel burned out, but you just feel like it's just nonstop, one email after the other, like you're overwhelmed and just stuff is going on and you just kind of want to break. If you have duty-free lunch, I really hope you do. But if you do, do something you enjoy, whether that's like listening to a podcast or watching a YouTube video or reading or whatever it may be. Because yes, you're still at school, but it's also like your lunch. And there are so many people who like have an office job and they take a walk on their lunch or they, you know, read on their lunch or whatever. And like, yes, we're teachers, but we still have things we enjoy outside and we can still deserve and should take a break. So just my little spiel about taking a break. Um, but I just did a really simple lunch, like pepperoni, ham, apples, um, kind of crushed for time this morning but just gonna eat read set a timer enjoy pick up the kids and do the rest of my Tuesday so hope you're having a good day this is the end of the day <laughs> and sorry about this morning um, I got caught cut off because my teammate wasn't here across the hall so the sub was knocking on the door for help so I was helping her but I was talking about the letter of the day so i'm gonna show you so today i'll turn it around in a second um but today their word was ghost so if they got all of the letters in ghost they get six pbis points each um but i said if you don't participate and you decide hmm, i'm not gonna work for it then i'll give everyone else those pbis points and you'll get nothing and they were like oh so like it really helps them like visualize what they need to do. So like we had three letters left at the end of the afternoon. So I said, do a really great job during math, do a really great job during packing up and do a really great job during snack. 
And then they realized, okay, these three things I have to get done and I have to do my best and then I can get my points. So it's a nice visual, but it also helps letters. Um, it also helps sounds because they're trying to figure out what the word is and they just, they really love it and eat it up. Um, if they don't get it, we just try again with the new word the next day. So uh, we didn't get it yesterday, but today we got it. So uh, I had them reflect with their table at the end of the day. What did we do today that we didn't do yesterday to where we were able to get the letter? So it's just a nice little way, an easy free way to work on them making the choice themselves to do the right thing. And, um, and they look forward to it. Like I'll hear them in the morning be like, a new word's on the board. So just wanted to share that. So an example of the word for today, it was ghost. As they did great things, I just added a letter um, to the board. Worked better with a smart board, but this is the easiest way to make your anchor charts if you suck at drawing like me. <laughs> so what I did is I put a picture of like whatever I want to trace on my Promethean board and then I trace it onto the anchor chart paper and then color it. And it is the best way to draw on your anchor charts. And people walk in and they're like, wow, your anchor charts. And I'm like, but I always say, I traced, I traced, but it makes it so much easier than trying to sit there and draw it, and then you hate looking at it the rest of the year. So I'll show you. So this is an example of one that I traced last year on my uh, smart board. So I just traced the little kids and it just made it so much easier and so much more fun to look at. And then I just colored them with crayons. So let me show you the one that I'm trying to do now. So we're working on habits of character, like initiative, collaboration, things like that. So I wanted this picture for collaboration. So I put it up on my Promethean board in a Google Doc. Um, and then I just hit the freeze button on my Promethean board, put my anchor chart paper over it, and then <laughs> put it here. Their feet, once they're colored, I think they'll look like feet, but <laughs> it is rough. As I said, I can't draw, but I mean, this is so much better than by hand. Like if I just didn't have this to reference at all, I obviously need to do this guy's hair, but it's just so much easier. It's a little off center, which is gonna drive me crazy, but I think I might add something on the sides or whatever, but it's just a great way to like easily do your anchor charts without stressing about drawing. So here we are all done. And I just added a little be kind. I try to do their tongues, ignore that. Okay, I tried to show that their mouth was open and they were like, yay, but good times. Yay, it's done. Today's outfit of the day. So this is the comfiest, stretchiest, dress um it's like a quarter length sleeve dress it feels like a t-shirt or like sweatpants again <laughs> has pockets um but it's from amazon and then i have my pumas that i've been wearing since monday from marshall's my jean jacket is from old navy and then the same earrings from amazon if you can't tell i love amazon <laughs> But this is the comfiest dress and it's so nice and just like breezy and, but it's like a little thicker than most materials. So it's a good fall winter dress, um, but I love it. Talk about anxiety for a second though. I struggle with anxiety. Um, I've really struggled with, with it my whole life, but the past two years, um, I really like reached out, got help. Um, and it was the best decision I ever made. I used better help because I saw so many ads and I was like, I couldn't get, I couldn't find a therapist that was available like right away near me. So I did better help. This isn't sponsored or anything. Um, I just truly really, really enjoyed better help. Um, it got to the point where my therapist was like, I think you've outgrown me. Like you're, you've done so much. Like I'm proud of you for what you're doing. And I think we can end, but if you need to come back, you know, you can always reach out to me, but it was so life-changing. I've shared it on my Instagram um, in a post, but I was like crying every day 
for no reason. Like I didn't know what was wrong. I would sit in the parking lot at school and just like cry. And it was so debilitating and so hard to explain to other people because I didn't feel like I had a reason why I was crying. I didn't feel like I was afraid of the future, but I didn't feel like I also was stuck in the past. Like it was so hard to explain my anxiety, but I moved to a new school this year. Um, I followed my assistant principal to this school because now she's the principal and I just love her and she's like the best admin. Um, but it, I was at my old school for four years, five years, no, four, four years. And it, I mean, it was my comfort zone. So I moved to this school and the beginning was rough. Like I didn't feel connected to the kids. I didn't see old faces in the hallway. Like I had to learn the new ways of this school. I, it's closer to home, which was really nice, but it started earlier than my old school, but it got out earlier, which is nice. And so I just had to like learn all the new things. And now I'm starting to fully feel like settled here. I'm starting to feel a connection to the kids. Like I love my class. I, you know, kids in the other first grade classes are seeing me and like waving to me. Like I'm feeling more at home here now which is really nice but it has been a long day it's 4 30 now um i got to school at about 6 50. um i was going to vlog a little bit during my lunch but i have like a student teacher uh field experience um woman who comes in uh she's in school and she was there during lunch asking me questions and stuff so i obviously didn't want to be rude and just like video it um, but then we had a training after school about restorative practice and just like, instead of being like, why did you do that? What, like having them really reflect and be accountable on like things that they do, like what happened? What were you thinking at the time? Like they gave us a little card, um, who's been affected? Uh, what do you think needs to happen to make it better? Or like um for the person that was harmed what did you think when you realized what happened what's the impact on you or others so just like really thinking about it but it always comes at like <laughs> the time that you need it the most like i don't know but i'm tired i think i'm gonna take a walk after school or just some type of movement um i'm just feeling funky so it was kind of a rough day in the room um you know, as a teacher, you have ups and downs with, like with any job, but, um, yeah, just wanted to check in cause I haven't checked in all day. <laughs> day for Thursday. I'm loving this outfit. This is a dress that my mom gave me. She didn't want it anymore. I don't know where it's from, um, but I can find out if you want to know. Um, it's like a spaghetti strap dress. So I just put a um, green Target, I think this is Target, um, green Target like little crop top over it. And then it was chilly, so I added this little Target um, cream sweatshirt over it. And then same shoes, my Pumas that I've been wearing all week. Um, and then my headband is from Target. And my earrings, I don't remember where I got them. I don't know if they're like, I mean, they look kind of old. <laughs> they're a little dingy, but um, I think they're from Target too maybe i don't know um but this is what we're rocking with it's cozy it's comfy but it's also like breezy so love it and i also meant to share this yesterday but time just got away from me this is the sweetest like funniest thing so um a little girl in my class yesterday came um into the classroom, like I greeted her at the door, whatever. And she like immediately stopped when I greeted her, went to her book bag and was like, I have something for you. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. You didn't have to, you know, all the things you say, like you didn't have to do that. What is it? And she pulls out 
this tiny little piece of bread and she's like, my sister cut it. It's banana bread. <laughs> and like, just, <laughs> it's like so sweet. She had like six of these bags in her book bag. So I was just like, how sweet, like a, a tiny little piece of banana bread as my gift. But you gotta love them and their ideas that they come up with. I just had to share because it was so funny. I wanted to go over, um, it's the end of the day, but I wanted to go over what we did for like our morning meeting time today. Um, we talked about how we read our class as a family at the beginning of the school year. Um, so we reviewed that book and then we went over like how we all want to be treated. So student to student, how do you want your friends to treat you? Teacher to student, so how do you want me to treat you guys? And then how do I want you to treat me as your teacher? Um, and then we all signed it. I just put the little shine acronym for the carpet there to cover their names for privacy, but it worked really well. And it was really nice because as I was doing like how I want them to treat me, a lot of them were sitting on the carpet going, oh yeah, I could do that. I could do that. So it was cute just like hearing, you know, and then throughout the day, if you know, they weren't kind or they weren't including each other, I could be like, you're breaking your treatment agreement right now. And they would be like, oh, and they'd kind of like sit and think. So it, it was a nice little reminder and it was a nice way to get everyone involved and really think about how we treat each other. Um, so highly recommend. Yours looks so much better than mine. <laughs> like mine looks so sad. Yeah, a little thing in video you're taking. Okay, leave me alone. Happy Friday. <laughs> I was like jamming out to my hype playlist like the whole way here. And the fact that I didn't even, I couldn't even say happy Friday. I've been pumped that it's Friday since I woke up this morning. <laughs> Anyways, I got myself a little treat. I always try to get myself a little treat Fridays. Um, it just makes the week more like, you got through the week, like great job. Like, uh, you know. But I did want to share that I get Dunkin' on Fridays. Um, I do a medium ice decaf latte. Caffeine does not work with me. Um, so medium ice decaf latte and then three hazelnut shots and almond milk. Um, I, I got the pumpkin a while back then and I realized that the pumpkin like swirl, excuse me, <laughs> the pumpkin swirls are not uh, dairy free and I, experience that in a bad way so we stick to the hazelnut but it's really yummy and if you are a woman on the time of her month i suggest getting decaf because it helps your cramps i currently am experiencing that so love that for me um but it also just helps um having a nice treat to spoil yourself so just wanted to share my little morning friday treat also if you don't know me personally, then you don't know, but I dance like my whole life and I freaking love to dance. It's just like so much fun. It brings me so much joy. And like, sometimes I get an idea of like, oh, I can make this real and like dance or whatever um, to just bring like joy back. Uh, and so I did it this morning to a Hannah Montana songs. It was on like my little like Friday playlist of like throwback songs. <laughs> so check out my Instagram if you want to see it. But it's funny because I'm in these clothes, so you'll know what day I did it on. But I just think it's so funny because I always think about as I'm doing it, what if, what if like the custodian walks in? Like how, how funny and like what type of conversation would that be? <laughs> and here's our outfit of the day. I'm in my little calm corner. Um, but we have these jeans from Target. They are the comfiest things. They feel like leggings. It's amazing. I'm covering my shirt because it's my school, um, but have that flannel on. And then we have the Air Forces on. So, and then it's picture day. So I curled my hair last night, so I didn't have much to do this morning. Um, but yeah, that's what we're working with. So normally don't do this every day, um, but for picture day, and turn off my fan. 
for picture day, I um, decided, sure, let me add a little bit of color. So this is my favorite lip combo. Um, it's really affordable. I got these at both at Target, um, but it's ColourPop, just a tint in, this is 23D3, but I don't remember the exact name, so that's not very helpful, I'm sorry, but um, let's see if it's on, a go, go It's called a go, -Go. so a go, -Go. Um, and It's just like a little lip crayon, so I do a little bit of that. Not much, because it's like pretty tinted. Um, I do that, and then this stuff is amazing. So this is um, the vegan Pacifica Vegan Collagen Lip Plumping Gloss. Um, but it's, it does not hurt. It's just like a nice, cool feeling on your lips. But the reason why I love it is it's so moisturizing. So I just pop that on. And then let me show you in the light. I just love what it looks like because it's like very natural, but it still adds something. See? So, um, there we go. I just love it and then it like st it stays and it's not like a sticky gloss it's like a gloss that is comfortable to wear so if you're looking for a new lip combo highly recommend ColourPop lip tint in a go go and then the pacifica vegan collagen um lip plumper so love it i'm at home now <laughs> editing this vlog but i just i didn't close it out so i just wanted to say thank you so much if you stayed till the end i hope you enjoyed my week uh, I'm looking forward to making more videos, whether that's weekly vlogs or it's, you know, a haul from somewhere or it's what I'm loving at the moment or anything like that. So just thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. I also wanted to apologize for how many times I say, um, in the video, it's actually great to rewatch yourself because you realize what you do every day. So with time, hopefully I'll be more aware and work on it. So I apologize in advance for all the ums because I myself was annoyed watching it back and was like, oh my God. So, but now I'm aware. So we're learning through it all, right? <laughs> I have to of course say, if you like what you see, please subscribe. I would love to build a community of people just here on YouTube and I just wanted to say thank you.